Social science is about understanding, firstly, how we live, and then why we do the things we do. And it's really the science of thinking about how we're living and what is a good way to live. And always for me, it's about um, social justice. So we're not thinking about, well, we could have a good system of management if we had this dictator at the top telling everyone what to do and everybody has to uh, live in a certain way. It's more about what do people need? What is their perspective on life? There's so much diversity. How do we understand all those different perspectives and how we can live together in a way that is healthy for everyone? I started to study anthropology because I love to travel and I'm very interested in what other people are doing and how other people are living in different parts of the world. I'm currently a researcher at the Stockholm Resilience Centre at Stockholm University in Sweden and I'm working on a project that is about resilience and international development in a global sustainability framework. So how do we think about development, how do we do development in a way that fits inside the parameters we need to live in. My PhD research was in the Solomon Islands. I lived in a small village on an island um, in the Western Province. I was really trying to understand these women's lives, firstly what they did in their lives and also to understand why there's this radical gender inequality. So in the Solomon Islands now there's two women in parliament, there's very few women in um, positions of leadership throughout all levels of government, in business as well. So really trying to dig into what's happening at a grassroots level that's perpetuating and reproducing these relations of inequality. I would really like to make more visible the lives of women, have women's stories in the histories of these countries, in our understanding of what's happening in countries. So that was really one main purpose of my research. The other purpose I would like to achieve with my research is to help inform more gender equitable policies on all levels, from international policies around things like the Sustainable Development Goals, down to national and uh, also local levels. Michelle has maintained contact with her supervisors and with JCU since she um, left for Stockholm and uh, we are really thrilled to be able to welcome her back as an adjunct research uh, fellow at JCU. This enables us to continue our uh, collaborations and particularly international collaborations in this field. <laughs>